honestly, one guy who has done a good job on his own by himself is Nikola Jokic. Caleb, you talked about him earlier. Jokic has been absolutely killing it for the Nuggets. And I know he hasn't had the best of records with Denver, but he has just been destroying. And we talk about our favorite stat, our favorite thing to look at, the NBA map, the TPA, right? The TPA allows us to see the true player uh, added value, right? And when you see that, Nikola Jokic is way on the far right. And again, you want to be on the top, far right. And he is way beyond everyone else. This is a guy who's averaging 26.9 points a game, 11 and a half rebounds, eight and a half assists on 56% from the field, 40% from three and 85 from the free throw line. So if you're looking at it just from strictly of stats, he's been better than Joel Embiid. I'm mm -hmm. just throwing that out there. What do you think about this, Caleb? Do, do you think that Jokic's record should hurt his MVP case? Here's the thing. When Westbrook won MVP in 2016, the year after – or the season that KD left after. A lot of people didn't want him to win because of his record. And <clears throat> I kind of feel like I was very adamant that he should have won MVP that year. I was in the minority. A lot of people liked Harden. If Denver makes it Wait, as a really? five seed, I don't or think higher, you were in the minority. Sorry, Caleb, but I don't think you were in the minority. I feel like a lot of people I, wanted that triple double because it never happened. They wanted it for us to win it. But, but I do agree with you. I was in that camp. And yeah. looking back at it, should Russ have won it? That's for another topic. But let's say Denver gets a five seed, for example. Let's say Denver gets a five seed and Bead starts to cool off just a little bit. And 76ers finish the third seed in the East. Do you think Jokic should win it over him? I would argue yes, because the West is a tougher conference. So five seed in the West could arguably be the, a top three seed in the East. And his numbers are like you said are more impressive than Embiid. So would you give it to Jokic? Personally, I would just barely, but I don't know, man. I don't know. It's tough. This is really hard for me because Jokic has been really good this year and all of his numbers are up. He's shooting an all-time high at his free throw percentage. Um, his field goal percentage is as the highest it's been in the last five years. He's obviously averaging the most points. He's averaging seven and a half more points than he was last year. And I know a lot of it isn't just about strictly stats. Another stat, again, career high in assists, career high in rebounding. Again, it's not all about stats. And just because you have a career high in your own category against yourself doesn't mean you should win MVP. Yeah. But it's hard, man, because it's like, how do you argue against better stats with a less talented team almost because the Nuggets don't have as much talent. Jamal Murray has kind of fallen off that cliff of, is he really that good? A lot of people were talking about him as, as one of the best young point guards in the league, but he's not that guy. I think the bubble was a little bit of a fluke and we don't know how much of a fluke it is because Jamal Murray has been hurt this year, but, but Denver hasn't looked great. And mm -hmm. a lot of that is just Jokic being really good on his own. The wins they have gotten is on strictly on the back of Nikola Jokic. So I would probably have him ahead. What about you, Caleb? Yeah, I would put him ahead just barely. Just barely. But I don't like I said, man, it's tough. You can make an argument for either side and I'm not going to be mad at you for it.